In the first video in this series, I showed you several useful websites in different categories. I've come up with a list of even more great sites for you to check out. So in this video, I'll show you another 10 useful websites that some of you may already know, along with some sites that you wish you knew about earlier. And we're getting started right now. Number one, Road Trippers. With summer coming soon and many of you hitting the open road, this is a great site to check out. Road Trippers lets you plan your route for a road trip to help you discover landmarks, attractions, and places off the beaten path worldwide. Here's how it works. I'll just put in a generic start and destination for the trip. So we'll start off in New Orleans, ending in Dallas, Texas. And I'll tick on attractions, natural wonders, and weird stuff, and then hit go. And just like with any other mapping software, you can zoom in and zoom out to see things a little bit closer. Now let's check out some of the places on the way on our trip. You'll see there's the National Hansen's Disease Museum. I have no idea what that is. Uh, there's frog racing near Crowley and, and so on and so forth. You can save your trip by clicking right here on save your trip. Once your trip is saved, it can be synced to the Road Trippers iOS or Android app for turn-by-turn -turn navigation. Before you head out on your next road trip, you should definitely check out this site. Number two, Pixlr. This is a cloud-based set of image tools and utilities. With Pixlr, there is no software to download and it is completely free. You have two options when you land on their homepage. You have the option for Pixlr Editor and Pixlr Express. Pixlr Editor is image manipulation software that is similar to Photoshop or GIMP. There is a slight learning curve to using Editor, so it would be a good idea to check out some tutorials to get more familiar with it. If you're just looking for a quick way to edit your images, you should check out Pixlr Express. It's very similar to PicMonkey with a ton of options. When you first open it up, you'll have the option to browse your computer for an image, open a URL, webcam, or create a collage. Once you have your image imported, you have a ton of options, including adjustment, effect, overlay, borders, stickers, and type. So if you want to make some adjustments to the contrast, for example, select contrast, and you can adjust the brightness, darken it a little bit here, select apply, go over here to effect, and we'll give it a too old look. And I'll select Gordon from the list, and then select apply. And when you're ready to save your image, just click on save. So if you're looking for a free web-based image editor, check out Pixlr. Number three, how long to beat. Most of us have busy lives between work, school, and other social activities. Playing video games is an investment of our time. How long to beat shows you how long it takes to complete single player campaigns of video games so you can plan your time accordingly. Let's take a look at the Elder Scrolls franchise. First click on search, type in Elder Scrolls, and as you can see, each game in the franchise will require at least 22 hours of your time to complete the main story, and nearly 100 hours to complete all the extras. For example, if your schedule is really busy right now, you may choose to wait to play any of the games in the series until your schedule frees up, and choose another game with a shorter campaign. Number four, Solo Learn. Some of you may be familiar with Code Academy. Solo Learn is very similar. This site will teach you the basics of coding and it will sync your progress in its tutorials with its Android and iOS app. Currently, it has 12 programming disciplines, which include C++, Java, Python, PHP, and many others. The lessons are interactive with follow-up quizzes at the end of each tutorial. To get started, just select more on any of them. Then you just select the first module and follow the instructions. Number five, Ninite. As many of you know that have watched the other videos on this channel, I'm a huge fan of Ninite. It's a package manager for Windows PC that can install multiple programs all at the same time without toolbars or any other extra junk. If you're running a Linux distro or Mac, you would have no need for this. Ninite is great for fresh installs on new computers. It doesn't contain every essential program that you would use, but does contain many of them. Here's how it works. First, you pick the apps that you want. When you're done, select Get Your Ninite. 
I'm not going to run this again right now. It will download the installer to your downloads folder. You select the installer and run it. Now it will download all the software you selected. In the future, when you need to update the software, just go back to the installer you downloaded and run it again to keep your programs up to date. If you have a Windows computer, you should definitely check out Ninite. Number six, Zamzar. This is a free online video, audio, image, and ebook converter created by Mike and Chris Wiley in England. I've used this for years without any issues. It supports over 1,200 different conversions without the need to download any software. First, you select your file from your computer by selecting Choose Files. I've already done so listed here in Files to Convert. Select the file you wish to convert to. It's currently an MP4. I'm changing it over to WMV. Step three is enter your email address to receive the converted file, then select Convert. You should receive an email within 10 minutes with the file that was converted. Number seven, Noisly. If you're like me and can't stand absolute silence when working or reading, this, as the name suggests, will create some noise for you. Noisly claims to improve focus and boost your productivity. You can choose from random, productivity, or relaxed sound effects, or select one or more of the options below. I'll show you how it works. I'll select thunderstorm right here and water stream. You can increase or decrease the volume by moving the sliders. They also have an app on iOS and Android. There's also an extension for Chrome. Number eight, Mathway. Of all the math solvers on the internet, Mathway just may be the best. You can get help in several categories, including basic math, algebra, calculus, and many others. It's really simple to use. You just enter in your problem here at the bottom. I'll show you how that works. I'll do something simple here. We'll do X minus two equals four, and then hit enter. And we'll solve for X. And it shows you right here that X equals six with a brief interpretation of the steps. Mathway is free, but will cost you extra for the step-by-step -step solutions. If you're still in school and need help with your math problems, Mathway just may be the site for you. Number nine, Project Gutenberg. Some of you may be familiar with free ebook sites like Open Library. Project Gutenberg is very similar. In fact, it's the oldest digital library on the internet. It has over 53,000 free ebooks available in different formats, including HTML, EPUB, Kindle, and others. It won't have the newest blockbusters, but with any luck, you may just be able to find something to read on this site. Number 10, Quick Draw. Now I'll leave you with a fun one that may not be useful for you, but is very useful for our evil robot overlords over at Google as part of their artificial intelligence program. This game is a lot like Pictionary. The goal is to create doodles that the artificial intelligence can recognize. I assure you, it's not as simple as it sounds, and it can be a good time waster. Let me show you how to play just using a mouse to draw. Select Let's Draw. Now I'm supposed to draw an onion in under 20 seconds. I see circle, or potato, or pear. Oh, I know, it's onion. That's a short little demo for you. You have six drawings in each game, and it works better if you're using a touch screen. It's actually more fun than I thought it would be, so check it out for yourself. That concludes this list. Thanks for watching. All links and corresponding playlists are in the description of this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you got something useful from it. Let me know in the comments if you know of a useful website that you think more people should know about. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to click the subscribe button for more from our website series and other tech-related stuff from Tech Gumbo.